Hello, I'm Fred Miller, and this is a very brief description of one of my hour-long lectures in song. The verse I've started seems to be the tin pantithesis of melody. So to spare you all the pain, I'll skip the darn thing and sing the refrain, also known as the chorus. Plain talking and singing about some great personality or significant aspect of American popular song. This time, verse and chorus. Hear the obscure verse, guess the famous chorus. We'll skip with the darn verse and singing the refrain or chorus became the rule. This program's a game. I present the unfamiliar verse, the audience guesses the famous chorus and sings it. It's also an entertaining look into the ever-changing American popular song during the golden years from the gay 90s through the 60s. Early popular song was often a storytelling affair, and the verses sung by a soloist often provided the core of the song, repeatedly punctuated with a brief few lines sung by a chorus after each verse, thus the name Chorus. One good example of an early verse and chorus, dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh, and so on for four verses, punctuated each time by the chorus, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. Eventually, the chorus became the thing the public picked up. Who realizes that once upon a time before I took up smiling is the verse for Blue Moon? Although some verses really do enhance a song, most of them are forgotten. Verse and chorus piques the curiosity and provides a little fascinating trivia and a slice of music history. Hear the mysterious verse, be totally surprised by the famous chorus. All for fun, like a treasure hunt. And these songs are nothing if not treasures. To engage me for this or any other lecture in song, please visit fredmillermusic.com for where you can contact me and review the entire series of more than 70 different lectures in song. Thanks for watching and look forward to hearing from you.